Hey everyone, so not too long ago we got an exciting update for the CMU Android emulator, and I'm super hyped to dive into the changelogs for this version with you. Today we're going to explore the latest update for CMU Android, which means we'll check out all the fixes and improvements, and of course, cover how to download and install it on your Android phone. But before we jump in, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now's the perfect time. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out and it lets me keep bringing you awesome content just like this. All right, quick recap on Simu. It's one of the first Wii U emulators that actually managed to boot games successfully. It originally launched in 2015, and then in 2022, they made it open source. Fast forward to August 2024, and Simu dropped a beta version for Android. But here's the catch. Almost 90% of users found the performance pretty rough. Well, here we are with the V14 beta of Simu for Android released just yesterday. And guess what? This update is packed with fixes, including a nice performance boost. Some games are running better than ever, Plus, they tackled a bunch of graphical bugs and issues. So let's break down the changelog for V14 in a way that's super easy to digest. First off, they fixed up the build.gradle and Android manifest files. Now, if you're wondering what those are, think of them as the blueprint of the emulator. By fixing these, the emulator runs more smoothly on Android, which is always a win. They also tweaked something called CMakeList. Basically, it's another behind-the-scenes thing that makes the app less likely to crash. Smooth sailing ahead. Next, they did some refactoring, which is a, a fancy way of saying they, they cleaned up the code without adding new features. This cleanup makes things like cafe system utils, emulation state, and the native lib run faster and more reliably. Moving on to some big fixes. They improved the emulator's native emulation, game titles, graphic packs, input, and settings. What does this mean for you? Games should run smoother, titles should display correctly, and the controls and settings will be easier to handle. Oh, and graphics are about to look a lot less glitchy thanks to a fix with Latte Texture, so say goodbye to those visual frustrations. There was also more code cleanup in the utils and native library sections, boosting performance and cutting down on bugs, plus tweaks to Simu application, emulation activity, and emulation fragment make the emulator more stable so you'll see fewer crashes. Here's a cool new feature. They've added a document provider, which makes it easier for the emulator to handle your game files. Managing them will be quicker and smoother from now on. When it comes to how the emulator shows game info and controls, they made fixes to game view model and slider recycler view item. Basically, navigating through the app should be a bit easier. Input also got some love. Fixes to the input manager and sensor manager mean your controller or touch inputs will be more accurate and responsive. And the on-screen controls, they'll show up properly now, thanks to the input overlay tweaks. More improvements include smoother communication between the emulator, games, settings, and your inputs. This covers fixes to file callback, graphic packs, and native interface, so everything works together more seamlessly now. Uh, they didn't forget about audio and settings either. Fixes to the setting fragment and audio fragment mean you can tweak your sound and other settings without running into any annoying issues. Plus, improvements to game path and graphic packs help the emulator find and load your games faster with fewer errors. And now here's how you can install Simu on your Android device. 